All right, guys, this is going to be a review of Launcher Pro Plus. Um, just going to show you some of the features it has in it. So here's basically, you know, it's basically your launcher right there. So let's look at some of our settings. Under Preferences right here, <clears throat> we'll look at General. Um, hidden Apps, if you go in here and you do this, and we want to take Ads Free, let's say, select it save um, yes alright so if I restart now just to show you what that does restart pro launcher okay now if I go in my app drawer now ads freeze gone so that's all that feature does um, basically just hides it for you alright so I'll show you some other preferences in here um, we're gonna go ahead and put that back just so that I can show you save it yes alright so general you got that you have keep in memory if you want to play play with that enable scrolling widgets so if you have like a uh, bookmark widget that scrolls or whatever you want it to be able to scroll inside the widget then you hit to hit that one uh, Motorola Droid Hacks then you can read it says uh, for a performance of two point it's for the millstone, the droid and millstone. So if you want to enable that, you can. Uh, let's see, home screen or settings. Um, so number of home screens here, you can have uh, up to seven. Uh, default screen, which is the screen that when you hit home it goes to. Mine's number two right now. And then um, trackball, if you have a trackball on your phone, you can enable that to scroll your screens if you want. Um, home screen looping, which I like, um, and uh, it will uh, loop the whole phone around, so you can just keep scrolling your your screens. There's not like an end to them; they just loop back around with each other. So, got that transition effect. This is what I really want to show you guys. It's probably the best thing I think about this phone. Um, you saw how the transition was earlier; just like a standard sliding back and forth. Um, so we're going to do transition. I'm going to show you a couple of them. Here's scale, which is really cool. So we'll back out of this. All right, so now your transition looks like this. Kind of bounces in and out. So it's kind of a cool transition effect. Um, I'll show you some more here. Home screen transition. We'll do, uh, let's try uh, rotary 2. We'll do that one really quick. So it, it, it goes like that. It spins when you change your your screens. So I just think it's really cool. Cool transition. I'll show you maybe one or two more here. Uh, we'll go back into it. Transition. We'll do flip. This is this one is probably my favorite. I think it's just kind of cool looking. Um, so you can do this. Every time you turn the page, it turns your screen. You know, you can pull it and. Just kind of cool looking. Spin it. So that's a real cool transition effect. Um, let me show you the last one I want to show you guys. Cube. Also pretty cool looking. There you go. So it's like your whole thing's a cube and you can just sit there and, like I say, I'll spin them. Go ahead and go spin these suckers. So just keep spinning. So, pretty cool. Transition is uh, one of the coolest things I think about this uh, this launcher here. Oops, I'm going to go back to just standard for now. So, you got your number of columns, rows, auto fit to screen, resize widgets and icons to fit the size of the grid. Something that's kind of nice. Sure, we'll restart that. So, now you can rescale these widgets and stuff. right here you can make them whatever size you want so this is on the paid version so like that feature would not be in here unless you have the paid version of, a, of a launcher pro plus not the free version um, so we got those things Let's see what else we got here um, this has to do with your docs I don't use it couldn't tell you much too much about it Let's see behavior settings um, yeah enable auto rotation 
home key action so I just wanted to go back to my defaults um, open and close preview screen is what you got there so you can see all the different all the different uh, screens at the same time um, home key, yeah default right here home key to default screen that's what I have so when you hit the home screen the home key just once it goes to default if you hit it again on the default screen you go to previews that's how that's set up uh, appearances um, you can do backgrounds on there you can hide notification bar you can put a home button in your app drawer so it's checked but I'll show you how that looks see the little house at the bottom that's the home button if you don't want it there, you can change that preference. So, which is under prayer here. So then you just uncheck that box. So I like it though. Um, hide icon labels. You can check that. Disable wallpaper scrolling. If you don't want your your wallpaper to scroll, you can make it just stay on the picture. Then you can do that too. Um, highlight styles and colors. This is kind of neat. When you when you touch um, an an icon on your launcher on your your uh, home desktop or whatever your screen um, this thing will outline the icon and then you can pick what what kind of you can pick what kind of uh, color you want on it and focus and all that kind of stuff so so yeah it's pretty cool um, good good features here um, so let's try advanced settings all right, here we go. Um, five icon rows and home screen. You got that if you want it. Um, scrolling speeds, min scrolling speeds. All right, use 3D drawer. So I'm going to show you that. So we're going to restart. And then here's what your 3D drawer looks like. So see how it kind of scrolls up and down on, on top and bottom. It just kind of like comes into the screen. So if you like that, you can put it on. It's kind of cool. Um, let's see what else we got here. Your columns and your thing, your opening speeds you can adjust. Um, display memory usage on your screen if you want. It's kind of like a debugging thing, but you can put it there if you want to do it. So we also have themes, and basically you just got I. These are things I've already downloaded, but. You can uh, put different icon packs in there, and then you can theme it with ice cream sandwich looking icons or honeycomb or whatever you want to put on there. So, nice features there. Um, and then there's some settings for the widgets, because this thing has its own widgets if you want to use them. Um, and you can go on Twitter and set up different things. Uh, skins and login and update intervals and all that kind of stuff for the widgets if you want to. Gmail. So, yeah, that's it. You can back up your home screens, restore things you got in there, just reset everything to default. But that's pretty much uh, Launcher Pro Plus there. Um, and those are the effects you can do. So 3D here, pretty cool. And then your all your transition, that's probably the best thing about this thing, is all the transitions are really neat. So hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, review, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.